everybody! How are you guys doing? It is so good to be back! Happy Monday! How are you guys? I've missed you. I've missed all of you. It's been a good break, but I am ready to be back! Oh my god! Goodness, you guys, those of you who had Thanksgiving, I hope you had a wonderful Thanksgiving. Oh no, Mama Sim Streamer, you've been sick all day. Oh no. You used the break to get caught up. Excellent. Oh my gosh, Becca. Woo. Happy six months, Becca. Oh, that's exciting. Half a year we've been hanging out. Oh my goodness. Oh my gosh. Glad to get back to decades. Ash, your dancers aren't dancing. What? They're dancing for me. Um, Becca Boo, I inspired you. You had your first stream yesterday. Oh my gosh. Exciting. The, I will say mics are very hard to figure out. Also, speaking of mics, you guys, I, for Cyber Monday today, bought myself a new mic. My mic's fine. I have a Blue Yeti. It's like, it's okay. I literally have a sock on it, you guys. Like, hold on. I, <laughs> I literally have a sock on my microphone. I definitely did not need anything fancy to get started. But uh, there's a mic I've wanted for like a year and I bought it for myself. So hopefully it's going to make things a little bit crispier. We'll see. We'll see how it goes. So I'll have to figure <laughs> we need a name for my mic. <laughs> oh, my goodness. Oh, my poor mic. But don't don't tell my mic, actually, that that there's a new one coming. I don't I don't want it to get upset with me, but. Um, you know, it works. I didn't have a pop filter and I read that as a tip and it definitely sounded better. So, you know, hey, if you guys are just out there roughing it like me, you know, try, try a sock on your mic. <laughs> um, anyways, oh my gosh, you guys, I, oh, I'm excited to play. I don't even remember. I mean, I kind of remember wh where we left off, but, um, Allison, you also had a Blue Yeti. That's what I just got. I just got the Shure MV7. And I just like, I have to interview people for my job sometimes. And I just remember there was this one time I interviewed this lady and like I could see her mic in her camera. And I swear I'd never heard anyone sound like so crisp and clean. And ever since that day, which was like a year ago, I was like, I will have that microphone one day. <laughs> and I finally got it. That's so excited. Uh, Allison, that's what you have as well. So anyways, all right, you guys, I'm gonna do my best to keep up with chat today. I've been struggling a little bit. It like it started to move a lot faster when we're doing gameplay. So you guys feel free to yell at me. I've got to, you know, relearn how to stream today. So we'll see how it goes. Uh, hey, Bam Bam, welcome in. Welcome in. All right. Let's switch the screen over so we can start talking decades and get, get uh, situated and see what we're going to be doing today. Because it is. I've put some goals on, but we're going to... We're, oh, did I not even talk about how my break was? So real quick, before we go into gameplay, I had a really nice break. So on Thanksgiving, I went over to one of my friends and um, like me, I, whenever it's a social thing, at first I'm like, oh, I don't want to do it. And then I went and we like, I mean, I love my friends, so it was really fun, but we did like a potluck. And then have you guys ever played this game called Bowl of Nouns? It was like basically every person has to write three nouns on a paper. So like a person, place, or thing. And then you go in teams and you like have to describe the word without saying the word. And then it's like a game of memory meets charades meets, I don't know, something else. So the first round you can describe everything, but everyone knows all of the words after the first round. So then the second round, it's the same words but you can only use three words. And then the third round, you have to act it out. And the things that people listed, it's so funny when you get to the point of like acting things out. It was just a really good time. It was a really good time. Um, but anyways, Ms. Colt, you started to download CC for Ultimate Decades. Oh my gosh, I love the, the medieval custom content is for sure my favorite. All right, so let's talk about this decades challenge. It is 1864, the first day 
Um, we just celebrated Madison's birthday. Let me pull up the calendar so we can see what's on the actual calendar. I have today flagged as egg day, AKA like Easter. Um, I don't, I mean, I guess we could do like a little egg hunt with the kids and baking. I don't, I, can't, I think I did some research on when they started doing egg stuff, but I don't remember. Betty is gonna age up to a child tomorrow. The kids are growing up. The kids are growing up. Um, and then James is still a week away from being a, a teen. So we're, we have a little bit of break on birthdays. Let's see, what are you guys saying? Uh, 8 p.m. of year, finally uh, got to hang out live. Well, welcome in. I love it when you guys make it over from YouTube. And some juice would make it even more. Oh yeah, I see what you're saying, Rose. I was like, hmm, what do you mean? Um, okay. So what I'm thinking is we could do something. It's nice little Sunday. We could do something for them for egg day. It's just getting started. It's only 7.42 a.m. We could do something for them. Technically, here's what, I, here's what I have in mind for William. And I wanna get you guys' thoughts because I forgot that I had written this rule into my, I had put this at the bottom and I forgot about it. But basically I made a rule that you could pay 10,000 simoleons per draft to avoid going to war. I wanted it to be quite expensive because I didn't want people to just be like, I'll just pay and not go. You know, like it was more for like people who are very wealthy. I think we have, we have 13,904 simoleons. So we're not rich, but like we literally got up to almost 30,000 simoleons in like one day with all of the canning. So I was like, what if, Madison has been asking around and she's heard that you could pay to get out of the war and she's been putting some money aside. So she's going to arrange a meeting with Boss Hog to see if he can like, you know, let her in on how, how does she do, do that? What is the process? How can she pay to get William out of the war? And then maybe he can forgo his death roll that would be tomorrow and we can bring him home. Josie, you haven't really missed anything. We're just getting started. We are just getting started. So we would be like really down to money, but I think like really low on money, but I think that would be a really cute part of Madison and um, Madison and William's history is that she like worked so hard while he was away and put together the money to get him out. And then I wonder if like he ever finds out, like, does he know that she does it? And then yes, Rose, we'll give the money as a gift to boss. Cause I did not do that in ultimate decades. Cause I didn't realize I could do that. So we could give that a try. So we'd have to actually give the money. So I was like, we'll have Madison. If you guys are on board with that, I think we should take her like to boss hogs house. And like, that will be like a whole interesting segment. Um, so that's why I wrote a goal as Willie comes home, question mark. So that's what we can do on Monday. So it's Sunday in the game, and then we'll go to Boss Hogs. Hope Boss Hog doesn't cheat her and give her the wrong info or steal her money. I know. I was like, what if that happened? We gave the money, and then William still didn't come home. So many options we can we can go. And Becca, who do you love her new dress? I'm obsessed with it. I had her gardening, though, and I was like, uh, she maybe needs a gardening outfit. Um, I don't know if we're gonna roll still for him because I feel like we should still roll because like here was my thought. Here's my thought. Okay, I'm thinking about this in real time because we're at the end of the war. Like he's already been gone for the year. So I do feel like we still need to roll for him because we need to see if he survived the year. And then we'll roll again to see if he's drafted. I think we go with the 10,000 simoleons paid to Boss Hog no matter what. If William rolls to stay in war, then it gets him out. But if he rolls to come home, we still lose the $10,000. And then we go with the storyline that Boss Hog ripped us off. Does that make sense? Are you guys following me or am I getting too complicated? Marijuana, welcome in. Okay. So if I got too complicated, I could re-explain it. But um, let me just get these guys. Look at her and the dog, her and Bandit. But I think we could do that. I think that would be interesting. And then we can still do the roles because I want that storyline for Madison. I want her to feel like she's doing everything she can to get him out. Yeah, and then if they get ripped off, that will cause conflict with Boss Hog. And if it works out... Lucy, what the, I put in the mod where they don't have box, boxing gloves. Does that not apply to the kids? Lucy, what are you prepping for to beat James up? 
I'm going to have to cheat energy too because I was doing stuff during the night to get the safe all set up. So let me just make sure everyone's not like dead tired at 7 a.m. And I did place the grave. Okay, I went ahead and placed Lydia's grave because that was the only, that was like the main goal we didn't get to. I want the tree. That was the main um, thing we didn't get to. And I didn't know where I wanted to put it. But I was like, I really want it like by a little tree. Um, so if this lot was bigger, I would have had like a little bit more of a specific spot. But I did put that down. Um, maybe this is the end of Boss Hog. Okay. Let's get down on their level. I also want to work on the kids' skills. So I want them working on their mental skill. Because once they're, I really, I didn't, okay, I don't know how I was like today years old. When I realized like the kids have to have mental skill to be able to do like more stuff with gardening and stuff. I don't know how I never realized that. Is that like always been a thing? Um, so like Lucy could water, but if I want her to actually be able to plant, she needed like higher level. And then she can do flower arranging because I was trying to get a sim to do flower arranging. So I used to like never care that much about skills, but now I'm starting to realize like they actually add more gameplay so now I feel incentivized to get the kids going I like how the boys are just out in their PJs so I definitely want them working on mental today and then maybe while they're doing that um Madison can come do some baking for egg day and that'll just get us started because it's gonna take me a take me a few minutes to get in a groove all right Madison what can we I don't know what ingredients we've got. I will turn off. I will turn off um Ooh, what is strawberry delight? She can make a trifle. Mm, ooh, angel strawberry cake. Peach cobbler. What would be like a very Easter? Oh my god, we can make a bunny cake. Yeah, let's do that. That's festive. The brownies would have been good too, Rose. I just decided it's egg day. We'll make a bunny cake. Skills is big with this game. I've never... Oh no. Oh, that was William. Um. Oh, hold on. I have to pull up this screenshot for you guys. If I can find it. I put it in Discord... Oh, do I still have it? Oh, I don't see it in my screenshot. Oh, it's because, oh, well, it wasn't a screenshot, screenshot. So after stream on the, uh, whatever day that was, Tuesday, so Madison had her birthday, and then I came into the save file after stream, and I got this cutest pop-up ever, and it was like William saying to Madison, he's like, something about like, I sent you, like, I miss you so much. Can't wait to see you soon. Like, I hope you got my gift. It was, like, something along those lines. I can't remember what it said exactly. I had never seen that pop up before, and I thought it was so sweet. I wish we would have got that during the actual gameplay. But it signified that he did send her something special. So, all right, are you guys here? Keep playing cards so you can build. Um, how else can I build mental with the kids? Trifle with beef, like and friends. Oh my gosh. Okay, Miss Hooper, what are you working on? Why don't you do some? Here, you come. Oh, wait, the cake's already done. Look at our bunny cake. This is so cute. I don't know how, like, time period appropriate. Chess. Okay, we would have to get a chess table. We don't have a chess table. Because I don't know... Okay, this is building mental. Okay, so James needs some work. James is only mental level 2. Lucy's doing a little better. She's mental level 3. And Wyatt is already 2. Does reading books help? Or does that build creativity? Um, because... 
The functions of the game table work the same as the chess table, so we're good. Okay. Because I don't see this family having a... Oh my gosh! You guys, James. James is going autonomously repair the windmill. First of all, I forgot I had a windmill over there. Our little boy is growing up. You had an idea. I think it would be really cute if we take a, f a family photo and keep it on the walls for the next gens. I never did that in my last decades challenge. Um, this mod stretches them so they can do it. But, oh my gosh, I'm loving this. He's starting to show lots of responsibility. Good job, James. Please don't electrocute yourself, though. Uh, okay, this is saying that Lucy wants to be a ninja when she grows up. I think she's saying she wants to work at the saloon when she works up. And so we're gonna just say, uh, what do we want to build? Her emotional control, her empathy. I don't know what she's lowest in. I think, I'm gonna say empathy because that's the hardest one to build. Now that I actually care about my skills. All right, kids. You keep playing cards until we're ready to do our egg hunt. Let me make sure James didn't stop doing this. No, 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 finish, finish that first. And then where's, Betty is sleeping the day away. She is about to age up. Potty is her lowest skill. So here you come, Potty. You can take them to, oh yeah, Rose, the photographer's studio. <gasps> this is it, this is the pop-up. This is the one we got. Okay, because I don't think I saved that progress that I got it before, so it came up again. He said, hey you, happy birthday. I'm sending you a little something I thought you might enjoy. Let's see each other again soon, okay? Let me turn off my, my um, reshade so we can see it. I'm gonna take a screenshot. I love that. Mm. The doctor toy set builds empathy. Doesn't that toy technically have electronics in it? I guess I could like just pretend like it doesn't. Um, and then we can make the black and white photo. That would be perfect. We should do that. When William comes home, that'll be like our... Your birthday gift from family is on its way, arriving via mail sometime soon. Be on the lookout. Is that part of the actual game or is that a mod? Cause that is so cool. James, when you're done with that, you need to come feed your dog. Look, Wyatt's just having himself a glass of milk and some leftovers. I don't know why, but little moments like that. I don't know. There's something about him just having a glass of milk with his lunch since everyone's basically fending for themselves right now. Okay, let's get ready for... Where can we, I don't even know how to do an egg hunt. What, how do we even... To participate, click on objects in the world and select hunt for egg. Okay, we'll gather everyone up. It's okay, Betty. It's okay. Let's get her dressed. And then uh, have the kids go running around looking for eggs. I don't have a pose pack for like a family. I need to like look into that. I just barely started learning how to do poses. So I definitely need to add that to my repertoire. Okay, kids, come get ready. I'm gonna put you guys in a group because I think that will be the easier way to do this. Okay, kids. Okay, put my baby down. Just click on objects. I think I remember now how I did it before. Okay, you guys all gather in the playroom. Where's Lucy? There she is. Oh, perfect, our friend is here. Come add her to the group. 
She's here just in time to celebrate Egg Day. Hi, Lily. Where are you going? Add to group. Oh no, I have to pre-roll back that your sub didn't pop up. I didn't hear the alert either, but happy three months. I wonder, hmm. I wonder why it did that. Where should we start? We'll start here. Hey, kids, gather around. Why are you so angry? Probably because James said something. All right, Lucy, you go check mom's bed. William, let's see. Let's just click on stuff. Look in the refrigerator. James, I bet you can check the dresser in the bedroom. Nope, we can't check the dresser. Just kidding. What about the toy box? Nope. What about mom's dresser? Yes, go check mom's dresser. All right, everyone hunt for eggs. Where's Betty? I wish I knew how to trigger it manually for you, but I don't know how to do that. Let's see, Betty. Okay, do we get little pop-ups? I've never done this before. Nope, we don't get pop-ups, but I guess they go in their inventory. Okay, so Lucy's got one. Wyatt found one in the refrigerator. James found one. So Betty still needs an egg. Oh, you were trying to go hard tonight. I wonder, I was looking at my settings. All my stuff's on. And Becca, Becca's worked earlier, so I'm not sure. Okay, Betty, we've got to find you. Hunt for egg right here. Here you go. Here, Betty, you get yours. Did you, did you get an egg? Was there not one there? Okay, you can keep playing with the dog because honestly, it's super cute. This is, I'm loving this right now. Give her, give Bandit a hug. Oh, what a cutie. I'm not ready for her to age up. I don't want to have a house full of children. <gasps> Yay, it worked. You did it. Yay. Subscribe for two months. Thank you. I have to pee real bad. Oh, your name makes me chuckle every time. We got it. Awesome, awesome. All right. Enjoy your new emotes. Oh my goodness, I love it. Okay, what are we doing with these kiddos? We did our egg hunt. It was a little bit underwhelming, but we've got all of our eggs. So let's put them out on the... I hate how gigantic they are, but we can size them down if we want to use them to decorate. What did everyone get? Becky, uh, Be I keep calling her Becky, Betty. Betty did not get one. Wyatt, who's am I missing? Wait, somebody, two people didn't get one. I thought, oh well. Oh yeah, we have four kids. Four kids, three eggs, that's right. That's right. Let's go ahead and have some. All of you kiddos. Oh, look, Fanny Mae's in the area. Everyone get you some. Get you some cake, bunny cake. Aren't they nice? I really like this one with the um, hearts on it and the other like pinkish one. Yay, and we're having bunny cake. I love how the bunny stayed on the top of it. Just a little special Easter treat for the kiddos. I invited Fannie Mae. Let me see if she is coming. Harold Hooper's calling. I don't know if she's coming or not. 
Blanca. Fazik. Schwabi from Banage. Here, you just sit and analyze your book. Is that what your whim is? Yeah, analyze that. I want to try to check off a lot of whims today, too. All right, happy Easter, kiddos. We're going to put you guys' eggs up on the shelf for some Easter decor. There we go. We'll put their eggs up there. Oh my gosh, look how cute they are. Wyatt is kind of, I don't want to say he's my favorite, but he's a vibe. Wyatt is a vibe. Okay, we still got a lot of day left, so I need to, I want to focus on skills just for today. Betty, I think you're going to be the cuteness focus because this is your last day as a Todd. She is freaking cute. Those are, um, I think they're the Victorian replacements, the book covers. All right, Betty, you're going to go, oh my God, yes, play in the rocking chair because that's going to be so cute. Have you guys seen them when they play in the rocking chair? They like bounce around and it's so cute. I am living for her right now. She just had all that sugar and now she's like, woo, look at me. She's like, I'm in a, she's, oh, keep looking for your toy. Oh, I shouldn't have done responsibility. That was dumb. She's like, I'm in a, she's pretending she's in a horse and wagon. <laughs> Sugar high, yeah, she's on a sugar high. Uh, all right, Betty, I'm here for it. What do you need to work on, though? Really, just your potty could be higher, but I'll let you enjoy your life. Wonder if we will have a back from war, baby. I kind of want to try for one more, I'm not going to lie. Oh my gosh, you're cute. And then I totally forgot, I had pinned two whims by Madison that were related to Betty because I wanted her to get those since she's about to age up. She wants to read a book to her. So can we, I don't wanna read her to sleep. Read toddler book. See if we can get that knocked off real quick. Oh, that's true, Wistful Cactus. We said that, yeah, we did say that she had complications from the pregnancy. What I'll do is if they autonomously woohoo, I might just like let them go. Maybe I won't like force them to woohoo. We'll just see what happens. But knowing them, they will, they will autonomously. Is anyone else having this issue in their game? I'm having a real issue with books where they're getting stuck Um, and they like, can't put them away. I've been having that happen for a while. Here, just reset. Just put your book. Um, where's James? James, come clean up this because that will help your character values. Here, did you get your whim checked off? How did that not check off our whim? Did it cancel the inter? I think it canceled the interaction when I did reset. But they can get to the bookcase to take the books out. So I, but I'm having the same issue in my ultimate decade save file. So it's for sure like an issue with books. Aw, uh, Lily's got to get home. Maybe she's been taking special herbal remedies to help with fertility for when it comes back. I like that. I like that storyline. Or just, yeah, and lower the percent, the chance. We could do that too. Oh no, Becca Bill, you're supposed to start streaming. Um, your power went out. Why is she not read to child? You are not reading to child. This looks like you were just enjoying yourself, but you were definitely not, not doing it. Let's see. Yeah, we haven't decided if we're going to add a kid, kid yet or not, not add another kid, I guess, like try for another kid. Okay. I don't know what is happening here. So... I'm just going to let them, James, here, come work on mental with your sister and brother. Also, I added, if you guys remember, Dakota is now um, 
good friends with James, one of the Native American boys, and I made his twin sister. So at some point today, we also need James to meet the sister. Um, okay, so is this a bug where they can't read to toddlers? Okay, I haven't tried to read to a toddler, so I guess this is the bug. So I'll unpin... I'll just unpin her whims. Here, go get a nap. Just go get a nap. Ooh, hunt for an egg in your bed before. Maybe you'll get one too. Hunt for an egg and then take a nap. And then you come do some canning. Because we're going to need all the money. Oh, we're out of sugar. We are out of sugar. So we need to go to the store. When we go to Boss Hogs, we'll make it an errands day. Yeah, I'm getting all kinds of like errors. We should probably save. We should just save, just in case. It works like half the time. I feel like I don't use that interaction as often as I should. Is it worth the risk with the death rolls? That's so true. We haven't sold all of it yet, actually. I think I have some of it here on the top. So there's some up here ready to sell. So we'll be able to get our money back. Oh no, the fridge is broken here. Your focus, Mrs. Hooper, can you repair this? Okay, I'm feeling a little scattered. We'll, we will, uh, we'll have a more focused day tomorrow. Whenever I don't play gameplay for a few days, I'm like, wow, what am I doing? Don't stand in the puddle, Mrs. Hooper. Yes, please don't electrocute yourself, even though we technically don't have electricity. But she's just, uh, she's fixing the seal so the ice doesn't melt. That's what she's doing. Oh, thank you. Thank you, Wyatt. Wyatt was like, Mrs. Hooper, don't stand in that puddle. Lucy, you're going to the bathroom. Wyatt is the best. I love him. He's like quiet up. They're about to fight over that toilet. Wyatt, you were literally just picking up and now you're playing in the trash. But now he's going to do the laundry. Now he's going to replace the water. Wyatt, you were, he, you were the underappreciated middle child. Oh, yeah, what a trash fight looks like. Did I throw it away? I think I threw it away. He's such a good little egg. Why are we, are we all in line for the bathroom? Oh, we are in line for the bathroom. <laughs> we are quite literally in line for the bathroom. I would hate to be the last one to have to go in there. Oh, James is now in line for the bathroom. All right, this is going to be uh, the segment where all of the Sims go to the outhouse. <laughs> now what are you off to, Wyatt? No, you're not going to go cross-stitch. Come work on mental. You guys just focus on mental skill today. All right, James, you're up, buddy. James is going to be the one who doesn't flush, even though... <laughs> Uh, technically it's an outhouse. One toilet household problems. That actually kind of worked itself out there, though. The boys could pee in the bush, too. That's true. Okay, we need to clean up this mess. This dog is always hungry. Yay, Lucy's level four. I think she needs to get to level six to be able to do everything I want her to do. Because I kind of want to get her a flower arranging table and have her... I don't know. I was thinking about having her do flower arranging now that I have a mod that kids can do flower arranging. But I don't know. Does that make sense for Lucy? I, I don't know. I haven't figured Lucy out. I just don't know. She's enamored by Fannie Mae in the Saloon Girls. But I, ha I just haven't gotten a like vibe for her for sure. You have one bathroom and four teenagers. Oh my goodness. I bet that is chaos. Oh, 
Okay, kids are good. Mrs. Hooper's like, I'm passing out. Yeah, maybe practice singing. Practice singing. And we'll see if she gets the like, thing that she likes it. Cause I never had my sim sing. Oh, if she practiced singing, she can sing when William plays guitar and she did that when she was a toddler. That would be cute. You can sell flower arrangements in the game, especially because we have the live-in store. What is happening here? Can you guys play? Because you're not, you're going to not be a Todd anymore. Listen to her go. Oh, you were sounding a little bit better before, but... Get it, girl. Get it. You're doing amazing, Lucy. Big dreams, big dreams. She wants to move to the city and sing. James, did you, were you mean to my Wyatt? Why are you angry? Riled up from so socialization. Do you need to apologize? Yep, you do. Of course you do. Apologize to your brother. What are your character traits? Oh, that empathy is going way down. She's practicing the new national anthem. Stop it. Stop it. Wyatt, you were the one mocking him. Wyatt, I can't help you if you're going to be mean to him. Do you need to apologize? No, apparently not. Just tell him a goofy story. Something that you read in one of your books. Y'all be nice. All right, Betty down for the night. Y'all just eat cake for dinner. Okay, keep going, Lucy. You're about to... Let's see, James. Oh, all the cake's gone. Yeah, there is leftovers. Okay, go eat. You guys... <laughs> Do what you want, Sims. Oh no. Is there one more now, or is that the last of the food? Better go grab it, Wyatt. Lucy, there's not anything for you. You're gonna have to get some applesauce or something. Ooh, get James to scribble in his journal. Let's do that. Here, come sit. Wait, what happened to your journal? What is this? Where? Uh, James, there's Wyatt's journal. James, where'd your journal go? Uh, James seems to have misplaced his journal. He, uh, he must have left it last time he was over at Dakota's. I think one song she was singing was all old legs. What's that song? All old, all like, I can't say that old legs. I could not say that. Oh my gosh. Um, uh, James, this is the third journal I've bought you. Don't lose this one. Thank you, Rose. That's what I'm trying. I think that's what I was trying to say. Oh, Dakota's sister could bring it to him. Well, in the meantime, I'm going to... What am I doing? Activity? No, kids? Kids? Activities. There we go. Here, James. Riled up. Oh my gosh, Lucy, you are... Now she's singing, oh wait, that one's, that's the same one. She was singing, um, it was a soul song earlier. Can we not get a quick meal out of, oh, it's because. Okay, you'll be fine, Lucy. 
She could sing and play piano at the saloon when she's a young adult. I kind of feel like I would like that for her. I would like that. Mrs. Hooper, I think you're good. Give these leftovers to Lucy. Lucy, Mrs. Hooper didn't finish her food. <laughs> no food goes to waste in this household. Oh no, is Betty come and take that? Oh. Betty, you're supposed to be sleeping. Betty's like, don't forget about me. If James leaves it out, then the other kids could snoop. Oh, I didn't know that. Because Wyatt also has a journal where I think Wyatt writes his own little short stories. Like Wyatt reads in books and then he writes his own little short stories. And then, okay, I'm probably just gonna... Wyatt, you're not super tired, so let me pause and have a think. Betty's going to bed. Lucy's not that tired, so they can work on mental. James, did you not eat? Oh, that's the food that Lucy took. Whoopsies. Okay, how can I feed you without a grown-up having to cook? Can you... Here, have have some apples. We've got fresh apples from the garden. Ah, <laughs> uh, Kenna, welcome in. I would love it if the house did get expanded a little, that there's room for a piano for the kids to get their creative skills. Um, I think I might play around with adding a second level is what I might do. Okay, you guys. Come play cards while we've got a little bit of time. I think I'm going to try to stop worrying about like all the Sims, like going to sleep and being on a sleep schedule. I'm going to play around with that. And if I don't like it, then I can always just go back to the normal way that I play. But if they're not tired, I'm going to try to keep building skills. Lucy, what happened to you? Why are you guys glitching? Join the game. Mrs. Hooper, why don't you? Okay, am I the only one who gets really annoyed when these things aren't facing the front? Oh well. Are you playing cards with the kids, Mrs. Hooper? You come sweep the floors because it's really bothering me. Maybe where, let's see, how in the world do you cook off the grid? You swear, make sure, okay, if you're trying to do off the grid, make sure you double check because I didn't know this and Rose taught me. Make sure to click on your, uh, look, you can hunt for egg in the mailbox. Make sure to click on the mailbox and go to bills. And then make sure it's not auto-selling your power and your water. And then if it's not auto-selling, you'll need some sort of power source. So I have um, a custom content override. The windmill is like the wind things from Eco Lifestyle. And then I have a couple of things. I have like the ravishing, wait, where are they? The This thing on my ceiling is like a power generator thing and all of that. <laughs> Rose, you have to have all the labels facing in the front. Me too. And it's really bothering me that one in the back is not lined up, but I hit it. So I'm going to pretend like I don't know. You can rotate in live mode. I don't think I, I have to go into build by. I was pretty sure, but let me, cause I can't, it will, I can't let, let me see. <gasps> yeah. Oh my gosh, Miss Colt for the win. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, Lucy, you're still doing fine. Mrs. Hooper, you're getting tired. Lucy, let's just practice a little bit more singing since no one else is... Uh... She's singing Amazing Grace. Oh my god, we can take her to church and have her sing at church. 
She's starting to actually sound pretty decent. If you have a small picture frame, you can change the direction of them in lift mode to be the same. Oh my gosh. <laughs> You're doing amazing, Lucy. I see big things in your future. Okay, you did clean the... F Mrs. Hooper, you did not... You did not clean the floor. You had one assignment. Hi, Hope, welcome in. I am ready to take these guys. Okay, she keeps doing a really weird like, woo! It's creepy, it's creepy. I don't know what that is. Wait, what is glitching with... What is glitching? Is it because this is in your way? Just clean the floors, please. Okay. You've been watching on YouTube but had to come check out. Welcome in. We've been off since Tuesday, so I'm still getting back in a rhythm today. But welcome in. Welcome in. Okay, that's what it was. Now she can sweep. It was just that stuff was in the way. Because there's only a very small amount of space. Listen to her. La -dee -dee -dee. <laughs> Lucy, you're just not tired. You're going to be up singing all night. She's going to be a pro singer before the morning. I love how she's just standing outside under the stars. What level are we? Actually, okay, she's about to max creativity, which is really good because once, she, well, it does say we're level two singing, but I think once she maxes creativity, I think it builds. Can't wait to hear when she's skilled out. Me too, because I've never heard of max skill singer. You came in last week and was like, this is awesome. You're enjoying my channel. And then realized after joining, you've been watching my ultimate decades for months. Oh my God, that's awesome. Does William sing randomly too? Yeah, William likes to sing and he likes guitar. So I think they're both into music. So she's going to take after her dad. Okay, Mrs. Hooper, you just go to bed back there. Lucy's pulling it all nighter. She has big dreams. How do you not get the dust bunnies without a vacuum without using mods? I am using a mod. I have a broom override. So the broom functions like a... um like a vacuum and it clears it. I wanted three speed, but then she's gonna sound ridiculous. Wait, are we about, wait, are we building logic? What is happening right now? Okay, we maxed creativity. Woo, way to go, Lucy. Why does it say logic? They would definitely be performing at church. She's getting ready for dad to come home. Her, her energy is just not going down that much, but it's like three in the morning, so I'm gonna send her to bed now. Okay, I will let you get a little bit of rest. You did great, Lucy. I told her to stop and she still doesn't wanna stop. She's like, nope, I will <laughs> Lucy, you can stop now. It's. She's like, no, mom, I don't wanna go to bed. All right, Lucy. Okay, good, you're finally done. She only sung for a whole hour after I told her to stop. <laughs> She's a little manic. I know I was about to reset her. I just thought it was funny. Okay, off to bed she goes. Oh, okay, why is the horse uncomfortable? Fun poor. Um, oh God, and now Madison's up for the day. Okay. which is good because we've got to prep to go to Boss Hogs. I think we'll do Betty's birthday at the end of the day. We'll do all the stuff that we need to do for, oh my God, what are you making? You're making mac and cheese. That, and if you're making one serving, I swear to God. All right, Madison's up before everyone else. I swear to God, Madison, if that is one serving, 
And it is. Oh, and it's chickpea mac and cheese. All right, well, you enjoy your chickpea mac and cheese, and then you're going to have to make breakfast for everyone else since you didn't think of everyone else, just yourself. Here, let's put these books up on the... Can I rotate? Oh, I could rotate the books, too. I love this because this looks like... <laughs> Wyatt's just left his books sitting around all over the place. She's trying out a new recipe. Love that for you, Madison. Love that. Chickpea mac and cheese, very 1864 of you. Okay. You're done, clean up. And then make like breakfast scramble or something. Serve. we not have enough ingredients? Well, go collect eggs. Wait, what? Okay, whatever. Come harvest the garden. Your 1900s household keeps catching on fire because of angry dust bunnies. Oh my gosh. Love doing the non-usual things with your Sims to gain the skills, like getting toddlers to watch people do... Yeah, that one's really good for the thinking skill. Um, that's a really good one. Getting to interact with any animal or plant increases their communication quicker, and getting them to just move around is quicker than the blocks. Um, we did... That's how we got Lucy's communication up really quick, was we had her talk to the animals. That worked out really good. Look, I plant it, but right before stream started, I got the spring garden planted finally. So I had Madison pull an all-nighter to plant the garden. But this will help us. She can can the strawberries. We can save some for nectar making, I think. And then um, we can sell some if we have surplus. Because we have, like, no food to cook right now. I'm almost to the point where I'm going to have to turn simple living off. But I don't want to actually have to do that. Try not to get stung by bees. Partially full. Okay, we'll collect beeswax when you're done. I kind of gave up on my hand make all the candles. All right, you're doing excellent, Madison. I can use any of the canned goods as ingredients in the Simple Living recipe. That's true, because I've just been making them to sell because she gets such a high markup now. But that is true. Does any of this need to be watered? I think everything should be fine. Yeah, I think we'll, we'll take our chances. Okay, calm before the storm. Everyone's still asleep. Oh my God, the dog is hungry again. Any excess of eggs we can, before they spoil, they keep indefinitely. Oh, that's a good idea. Is that, would we have to make, okay, let me actually check in. I, how many chickens do we have? Because that's weird that we don't have any eggs. Three, oh, two roosters, three chicks. It's because we don't have any hens. We're waiting for our chicks to age up. Okay, okay, let's do it. Let's let's do a quick inventory. Let's see what we actually do have in our refrigerator. So we do have some eggs in here. I don't know if these like special eggs count though. I did put some tomato sauce in there. Oh god, we just traded more chickens in for meat, so we're gonna have we I don't want all that meat to spoil. So she needs to start cooking up stuff that uses meat. Let's just have a look-see. Because this family is going to let too much spoil. Uh, I just feel like we should be able to make a lot more than what we can. We need herbs. That would help. Okay, we have onions, so we can make franken beans, which seems to be the only thing I've cooked this whole series. 
Mushroom soup. What the heck? I'm about to have her just make pottage with the medieval pod. Uh, let's see. Why don't you just make, how about a chunky vegetable stew? I was like, we need to use up the meat. Taking the, so you guys keep telling me that to take the prepped ingredients off. It doesn't change anything. Like it literally does not change anything. If I say take prepped ingredients off, I still need the ingredients to make the recipe. I know I might sound crazy, but I swear I'll click on it because I've tried that before. It, it does change the way it like filters, but it doesn't make more stuff available to cook. So if I turn it off, it's still it's still the same. Well, I guess now I can make things that don't require ingredients at all is the only difference, maybe. But like the stuff that requires ingredients still requires ingredients. So I can make Italian meatballs now. So I guess it does have a slight difference. It just doesn't apply to everything. It's like certain things. I don't fully understand it. I don't know. You guys get it better than I do. I use food cooking mods. I use Granny's cookbook and the Yield cookbook mod are the only cooking mods I use. I've been forgetting to use the yield cookbook mod in this save file, but that's the one I'm using for this one so she can make chunky vegetable soup. Although I just realized we're making vegetable soup for breakfast, but hey, you know, whatever. We've got a surplus of veggies. We're going to make vegetable stew. Okay, Wyatt is up for the day. Here, you better run to the outhouse before everybody else beats you to it, buddy. And let's see, James is going to be up soon. Lucy. Lucy's doing pretty good for pulling an all-nighter. You need, uh, Yeah, I need the ingredients because of simple living. Exactly. But you skip the prepping step. Oh, is that... Is that, like, necessary now after the new update? Is that why you guys are telling me, like, to the prepped ingredients? That makes more sense. That makes way more sense. <laughs> James is like, mom, is a uh, food ready? Wait, does he call her mom now? Because I just, even I was thinking that Madison was his mom, and she's not. Who's it? Cleavar. Oh, Nabaquink. He's helping her cook. Is that going to build some of our skills? Did we get a. Okay, they got the cooking together mode. They have great compatibility. James, you have a bright future if Madison has anything to do with it. He definitely calls her Ma. Yeah, I think Ma. I think we said that last time I was considering it. She's been so good to all the kids, honestly. Okay, Wyatt's having his bath. Betty is ready for food. And then we've got our meeting with Boss Hog. So she's got to get all the kids taken care of. Here, James, get you some veggie stew for breakfast. I love how this stew looks. Oh. <laughs> yeah, his mom, his real mom basically abandoned him. At this point, I feel like he does see it that way. I think when he first left, he didn't want to leave her. And now I think he like really likes it here. And Stella got her fresh start. Hey, Betty, come get... Some soup. My mom totally used to make soup like this too. She would make like a, a tomato like veggie soup and it would be in a giant pot like that. Okay, Wyatt. Lucy, get up. I think I'm going to take the kids with us to Boss Hogs because that would be Boss Hogs like nightmare for all these children. <laughs> She's going to be like, I'm sorry. I had to run errands today. I brought all the kids with me. Thank you for that hydrate. James likes stories. Excellent. Okay, Madison, what do you need to work on? I swear this dog is hungry every five minutes. 
Yes, I know it. Okay, actually, why don't you go ahead and make... Um... Oh, I think we need flour. Okay, we have to... Here's our game plan. I'm going to change goals to a to-do list for today because I'm going to lose track. Okay. We have to go to Boss Hogs. Okay, meet... Meet Boss Hog. We need to go to... We're literally making Madison's to-do list. Oh, and I will say thank you, Mel. Um, okay, me, meet Boss Hog, go to general store. And then we have to celebrate Betty, Betty's B-Day. So we need more flour and sugar. So what we'll do is like, we'll go to Boss Hogs, then we'll pop over to the general store, and then we'll... We'll head home. And I might even just send her to the regular general store. I don't know. We'll, we should go to the Hoopers one. I was going to say, so we don't have to go through the loading screen, but. Betty's like, Mom, can you please bathe me? You're old enough to ask for your own bath now? Mom, I stink. Bubbles, Mommy, bubbles. Yeah, and so William with the war, we're going to do... I have to figure out exactly when we're going to do his death rolls. I think we might do... Go to Boss Hogs and then do William's rolls as part of that part of the story. And then we'll do Betty's birthday after that. Here, you can't take a stinky kid to Boss Hogs, though. Everyone get ready. we got to leave to Boss Hogs. Where'd Lucy go? Oh, she was in the bath. Lucy, come get you some stew before we leave. Everyone's gonna leave with tip top needs. Okay, then we should be good to go. Get you some soup. No, not for Betty, for yourself. Grab a serving. Okay, James, you're just gonna have to wait in line for the toilet. Or actually, no, you can go anywhere. What are your moodlets? Loose tooth, feeling angry, of course you are. Okay, Lucy, you're good. Wyatt, once you eat, you're good. Remember, they're best friends now, too. I totally forgot Wyatt and... Lucy, our best friends. Here, we should have James come in and wash his hands. That would be cute. Everybody get ready. Come wash up. We're ready to go. Okay, y'all come sit and wait for mom. Did you bathe her? Yes, you did. Okay. Madison did not eat. That's like typical mom. She like fed everyone and didn't feed herself. Okay, hurry up and then we're ready to go. It's noon. Um, you love that cookbook? It's so good. I really love it. James, where are you? They keep trying to go cross-stitch out at Miss Hooper's. I need to move that object. It really annoys me. All right, you guys ready? They're probably telling stories about things they've heard that they think about Boss Hog's mansion, and they're now they're all like, yay, we get to go inside. They're going to cause havoc while we're in there. Okay, are we ready? Hold on, let me check. Okay, good. We should be good on... I had no concept of how long we've been streaming for. All right, Madison, you done? Mrs. Hooper's going to stay behind and pick up. And we're going to head out with the kids. Off to Boss Hogs and to town we go. Should we bring the dog? Oh, man. It's a whole family affair. Betty, Lucy, Wyatt, James. I think Fanny Mae is going to come with us. She helped arrange the meeting for us. Fanny Mae is just going to... She'll just be there in the background. Or maybe we'll meet like she... She helped us... <laughs> nightmare i was like what would be the worst like bo what would boss hog absolutely hate and it would be us showing up with all of our children and all running through his house oh it's gonna be great Ooh. 
We have arrived. Plus, I really want them to meet um, Steven and Nanny Bell's baby. All right, here you go. Uh, we do like a, yeah, air kiss Fanny Mae's cheek. I love this new greeting mod. I am like absolutely um, obsessed. Okay, we're gonna control Boss Hog over here. Apparently, we don't know Boss Hog. Why are you dazed? He's juiced up. Boss Hog is drunk. Boss Hog is drunk. We've just showed up for our meeting and Boss Hog <laughs> is drunk. Oh gosh. I want him to do the courteous hand kiss to us. Hey, Fannie Mae. Good to see you. Here, Boss Hog, come meet us. Here, Madison, stop talking so Boss Hawk can introduce himself. Maybe we've never, like, officially met him, so this is, like, our first meeting. He's like, oh, my God, all these children. Are you too drunk to meet us? Darla's like, eh, I can't be bothered. Madison, stop talking. Why, hello, madam. What a beauty you are, huh? I'm sure he would say something so awkward. Like, he would say something that sounds like he's hitting on her and it's just creepy. That is what would happen. Okay, let's get you guys all inside. I guess we probably have to knock on the door first. Aw, uh, Fannie Mae said we make her day better. Here, let's go inside. Oh my god, put your child down and go knock on the door. It's only going to take three hours to get inside. <laughs> oh my gosh, yes, he would be so cringe, right? Oh my gosh, it would be something if Darla's baby fell in love with Betty when they grow up. Oh my gosh, wouldn't that be something? That would be. Um, I have my eyes on Nanny Bell's kid for her. Um, everyone come into the parlor together. I feel like that's what... Or the, the drawing room, or I don't know, whatever you would call it. Becca Boo, no worries! I'll see you next time. The kid's in the background mocking boss. He's like, all right, don't make yourself too comfortable. Okay, so before we get them going. I kind of want to send the kids off. I wish they had more of a yard. I think I think the kids are going to come wander down here with um So who did I just cue? That was Lucy. I think Lucy and Wyatt are going to come here and James is going to come snooping upstairs. James is literally going to come to Boss Hog's bedroom. Oh wait, first he's going to go to his office cuz we're not going to meet him in in his office, I don't think. And then he can, he can, oh, oh, even better. He's going to come make a mess in Boss Hogs. Hey, <laughs> no worries, A hey, Bam Bam. Explore all the mushroomies. <laughs> James should swipe something. Wait, can we even do that? I don't think he has like a trait to do that, but he's going to for sure come make a mess in the office. Betty's probably going to just stick with Mama. She's not going to go off too far. And then we're going to have, oh, you know what I want to do? Sorry. If this were on YouTube, I just have like a vision of what I would uh, do for this. They're going to, we're going to say Nanny Bell served us tea. So I need to grab the tea set and put on the table right here. Which is my wedding stories i'm obsessed with this object now okay perfect it even matches the carpet okay hold on i gotta save or it's gonna be laggy and then we have to check in on James upstairs in a little bit. Making We have to have James make messes all over the house. 
Will that make his character traits go down, though? Because I don't want to... No. Rose, I'm officially obsessed with the tea set, and I, I will not apologize for it. Come sit. You come sit. Oh my god, I love this! Alright, so Fannie Mae is making the introductions. I think we still might have to... I swear to god if you stand up. Okay. Uh, gossip about the liturgy this morning. I don't know. Um... Uh, ask about career. Let's just do some small talk. If you get your Sims to have a cup, a daily cup of green tea, it will fight off sickness. Okay, that's actually really good to know. It says Madison has learned that Boss Hog is unemployed. Not true. Oh my god, she's going play in the books. His nightmare. Wait, what happened to the tea? Oh, we have to pour it. Let's get our tea. Oh, we should get Madison a tea set when he comes home. We're going to say Nanny Bell would have done this, but here, pour the tea. I want tea, and I want it now. What is happening with the tea set? Oh, we're all frozen. I think we're having an exception error. Oh. Okay, there we go. So now... I thought you could hand... Oh yeah, here we go. Serve to Fannie Mae. Serve to Boss Hog. Yes. Look at our child. Making a mess. Are you going to serve the tea? Oh god, we're hysterical. Good thing I have um, emotional deaths off. Oh gosh, James, what have you been up to? He's come and drink tea. Is that why we can't serve it? Because you were routing all the way over here to drink tea? Is it broken or is it ripping up the expensive books for sure? Okay, I'm going to hydrate while I wait. I think I'm going to have to reset them because... All right, we'll just say we had tea. You come and get your, oh wait, not you, James. Boss Hawk, have a seat. We gotta have a deep conversation with you, buddy. I need everyone in their places, please. Nosy James, come sit here. James, you just want to be part of the grown-up conversation, don't you? Uh, Madison? I was <laughs> like, what is she doing? What is happening? I swear I'm going to lose my mind. The tea has broken Madison. Sit down, woman. Okay. We are now ready for our conversation. Madison is broken. She is broken. I don't think we have a good enough relationship to have a deep conversation. No, not not romantic. No, 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 no. We'll gossip. Okay. Whew. All right, so I'm not super great at the narrating. Oh, but they just had a, a oh, where are you going, Fanny Mae? Oh, oh no, oh no. Easy. Ribs. Uh -huh. <laughs> oh, no. Fanny Mae's trying to sweeten him up for us. She sweetened him up for us so he will uh, give us a better deal. Thank you, Fanny Mae. <laughs> Thank you, Fanny Mae. Oh my gosh, I need to control her because it's, Driving me crazy. Here, come sit down. We're just waiting patiently. Teacups everywhere. 
Okay. So we're gonna say, so we were hearing about this thing where you can pay to get out of war. So I was wondering, you know, I've saved up quite a lot of money. Um, we'll share ideas. We've saved up quite a lot of money and I was wondering if it would, you know, if you know the right people that uh, we could get William brought back home because he's been gone for three years now. He's probably like you and every other woman in this town. Oh my God, look, she's got the thought bubble with war. She's talking about war. <laughs> Fanny Mae's gonna get you what you need, darling. Oh my God. Okay. Let's see. I want to be able to have a deep conversation, but. Here, tell him our wedding story. Boy, he'll love that. We just love him so much. We've got to get him home. He's missing out on so much of the kid's life. <laughs> She's like, yeah, you know the president. There's got to be something you can do, Boss Hog. I've got the money. I've got the money. Okay, can I give... Wait, it didn't give me the option for give simoleons. Is, do we have to have a certain relationship? Come on, Boss Hog, help us out. Because normally you go to give, give... Oh, here it is, simoleons. 10,000. He's like, all right, you just give me the money and I'll see what I can do. And this is where we don't know if he's going to screw us over or if it's going to bring William home. Okay, I don't know what's happening here. Just give him the money. Just give him the money, Madison. No second thoughts. I swear to God, I will reset you both. Da -da -da -da. Let's, oh, I keep clicking. Give simoleons 10,000. Here we go. What is happening? Everyone's just frozen. Oh, Darla's here. Oh, I think he must be queued up for something. No? I don't understand. I don't know why they're just broken. Go here. Go here. Something's broken. I gotta check my mods. Simoleons. We have enough money. It's like, just like the... Same thing's happening with your sims lately for no reason. I know, it's like we're just stuck. Okay, here we go. Here we go, finally. Or not. I swear to God, I'm about to rage quit. I am about to rage quit. I am trying to tell a story. I am trying to tell a story, and if you guys do not stop staring blankly at each other, I swear we will reset and take a break and come back. Until you updated MCC. Hold on. Oh, there is a 7.0. Oh, okay. She's wondering if William is worth the money. Let's go ahead. We're like, I usually take a break around the hour and a half mark anyway. Let, let's go ahead and do a break now. I'm going to turn my game off because um, I don't have, you, hold would on. You, would you mind just doing a little save? Check I will me. save. I will save. Because I don't think I have the 7.0 version. When did that update? I was checking all the mods yesterday and how did I miss that? MCC. Yeah, I have 6.0 on MCC. So I will work on that. Um, and I will update. Darla did give birth. We did a whole segment last stream on who's the daddy. I have it flagged on YouTube as a, as a chapter marker. I highly recommend to go check that out. <laughs> if you're curious about Darla's baby. When William comes home, we need to call him by his rank commissioned officers in the Union Army could be divided in several categories. I was doing some research on that the other day. So we'll have to figure out which one, which level we want to make him. That would be fun. Um, and do that. 
Okay, we're gonna do a game reset because I really want her to be able to give him, wait, are they doing the gift because, okay, it's working. Oh, sometimes all you need is a good pause, you know? A good pause to let the game, money! Oh my God, I wish I had a screenshot of that. I'll have to do it after stream to reenact it. Now that I know that it like, I did not know that the money just like, depending on how this goes, that would be the screenshot for this episode or this stream. Yay! Okay, so we are now down. Why is our hygiene so low all of a sudden? How did you get so grungy hanging out in here? Um. Okay, well that only took till 7.45 p.m. But let's still go ahead and pause and do a break. I'm gonna restart my game, put the updated MC command center in because that could potentially be causing a lot of issues since that mod controls um, so much. She's all nervous and sweaty. Yes. Oh my God. I love that storyline. Yes. She is sweating. So we're going to gather up our family. I'm going to bring everyone to the front door because we still have to make a quick stop by the general store. So we'll do that. Um, honestly, I might just order groceries to the house because I want to, would, okay. I got to, I had to get my thoughts together. We'll do a break. We'll come back. We'll do the William rolls. So that way we know whether this money was well spent or not. And um, then from there, we'll figure out what we're doing. Because it's all going to depend on if William's coming home or not. What happened? Well, I guess William is for sure coming home unless he dies, I guess. I guess there's still a chance that he dies. Gosh, cross your fingers. Okay. Let's go ahead. I'm going to... Shut everything down and get my music. Da, da, da. Okay. BRB. Yeah, and Betty's birthday will be happening for sure. Lord help me if William does not survive. Oh, he's going to survive. He's going to survive. Even if we have to roll best two out of three, we'll see how it goes. Okay. BRB.
All right. I've got my mods updated, or at least MC Command Center. I like this talk of William's rank. So he would be a colonel or a major. Major William Westbrook. Colonel William Westbrook. I love the sound of it. Also, you guys, <laughs> when I just loaded in, um, our bills are now do in their 2,500 simoleons and we have 3,900 simoleons. So Madison, oh, she's feeling, she's feeling a little apprehensive. She's like, oh man, did I just make the right decision for our family? Let's go ahead and just do a final handshake if we can, because, hold on, wrong sim. Do a final handshake on it. And uh, we'll do our rolls. You are stinky, girl. You are sweating it up in there. Thank you, Boss Hog. We're entrusting you. This is our uh, our entire life savings. Fannie Mae, thanks for uh, thanks for working your magic. Fannie Mae, you're not feeling very well. We'll meet up for tea next week. See y'all later. Okay, we are gonna hop over to William's household and see if this was all worth it. Yeah, we will sell some stuff. We've got like wine and stuff. So money will be okay, we'll be okay. But we want it to appear like we're struggling for just a second. Oh man, was this all gonna be worth it? Oh, I knew there was one more sim I was supposed to add in. Dang it. I was like trying to remember what my list was and I forgot about the war nurse, but um, oh no, I didn't run the ad when I took the break. I'm such an idiot. I'm going to have to stall for a minute and a half. Oh no. I'm so bad at that. I'm so bad. I will get better. Obviously, all of you guys who can hear me right now, it's not affecting you all, but okay. I don't want anyone to miss this part, though. I don't want anyone to miss it. Actually, while we're waiting, though, let me go ahead and go in to... While I'm waiting, I have to wait a minute anyway. I'll have to give her a um, Civil War soldiers. Let's just add her really quick and we can give her a makeover a little bit later to give her like a war nurse outfit because I may actually have to download CC for it. I don't, I had one in my old, old decades save. Add from the gallery. Is it tagged with the hashtag? That'll be helpful. There's a lot of families in here, though. Um, point me in the direction. <laughs> it's in my townie hashtag. Okay. And Renee Williams. Is this her? Williams? Renee Williams. Yeah, so we'll give her a makeover. And she will be the war nurse. I, let me see if I have a Warner's outfit real quick. I did have one before. I don't know if I have it currently. That's a maid outfit. I have this one. And I think I have a little hat, but I might, I don't want to have to change her hair. But I had a little hat that went with it, I think. But it might not be hair compatible. But she's fine. She's got the outfit on. I think that's a maid outfit. Yeah, that's a maid hat. Okay. I probably don't have it. No, I don't. But we've got her. We've got her. <laughs> Loving some of the Native American families. Yes, we have them. Okay, so she's got the color of the 
uniforms. I'm just gonna do the first outfit and then I can just copy it. Um, there we go. Oh, the in-game headscarf, that might would work. Oh my gosh, look at her with them all lined up. Okay, there we go. We had time to do that. Ooh, the Linslu cap. That's true too, okay. I'll work on her um, probably after stream. I don't think we'll do too much cast today. But I knew there was someone. I was like, there was another sim I was supposed to add and I didn't write it down and I was trying to watch the replay from Tuesday. To, I was like, dang it, I didn't make my to-do list and I forgot. And I had made Dakota's twin, but I forgot about the Warners. Okay, William, where are you, buddy? Here you are. It's very dark in here. All right, Will. Let's get out. So the rules, I finally updated them to have, so the way I wrote them was like, so the first year everyone has the same rules because everyone is in for the first time. So those are like you roll 5, 10, 15, 20, you die. But then after that, I wrote the chance of death is based on your Sims experience at war. See the death chart below to see if your Sim survives. So then I wrote it like, so if you've only been in war for one year, you have whatever, four numbers, chance of dying. Two years, that goes down by one number, three years, which is William's been in for three years. Let me make this bigger. William's been in for three years, so it's if he rolls a five or a 10. And then if you've been in for four years, then your chance goes down again. Um, oh, we could do... So like do like a random picker for those cat uh, for those options rows. That's a good idea. I can do a um I need like a spin wheel thing. Oh my god, I cannot type. Uh is this one? Yeah, we can do Colonel Westbrook Captain Westbrook Major, I guess we should see if he's gonna survive. Oh, well, I mean, I guess even if he dies, wait, are there three options? Colonel, Captain, Major? Okay, first let's do this one. And Lieutenant, okay, I'll just write Lieutenant. I don't know what the abbreviation would be for that. LT, Lieutenant Westbrook. Okay, perfect. Perfect. So four options. Let's do this first and see any any other. Is I think those are good. I don't know which one's higher than the other one. So you guys will have to educate me. How do I do this? Click to spin. Okay, what is William's rank? He is a dun 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 Lieutenant Westbrook. Which one's the highest? Okay, Colonel is the highest. So what level are we? Lieutenant seems it highest to lowest. Colonel, Major, Captain. Wait. Oh, wait. Highest. Oh, so he's the lowest level. <laughs> oh, poor William. It's okay. We're a lieutenant. It's okay. It's okay. Not too shabby. Okay. Now we're going to roll to see if he survived. Aw, I was excited. I was like, oh, Lieutenant sounds so good. Dang it. Uh, let's see. I'm trying to pull up my, I forgot which song I was using for these death rolls, but oh well, we're going to do betting. So his chance of dying is going to be number five or 10. Okay. This is going to roll. It's not going to count. It's going to be, if he rolls a five or a 10, he does not survive. So Let's get the betting going. Will Willie survive, live, die? Okay, one minute. Are you guys ready? Let's go. Okay, will Willie survive war? Bet your mushrooms. You guys can go all in so you have enough mushrooms to save his life if he dies. Isn't that how it works? Because you guys are betting mushrooms, which are... The same things for channel points, I think. I don't know. I don't know how Twitch works. Um, so you can win yourself some mushrooms so then you can save William's life if he doesn't survive. If he dies, we're going to roll two out of three. So if he dies on the first one, we're going to do best two out of three, I think. I don't know. That's my thoughts. We'll see what happens. 
Lots of shroomies on live. We have a high chance of living. Last death roll, I actually rolled the wrong dice for him last time. So I'll, I'll do it correctly this time. Oh my gosh, yeah, he can't die. He just, he literally can't, he can't. I will cheat too. <laughs> I'm not afraid to cheat, but I don't wanna cheat. I wanna at least, well, okay. Dang, that, that went really fast, I felt like. Maybe we do two minutes next time. Usually it feels, okay. It's if he rolls a five or a 10. All right, William, let me uh, get this situated, buddy. Oh, he looks so happy to, hold on, I lost the, I lost it. Okay, are we ready? Drum roll. I need a drum roll sound effect. Okay, here we go. Five or a 10. Ah, he survives. Okay, he does survive, which is exciting. Okay, let me pay up your mushrooms and then we're gonna roll Oh my God, oh my goodness, to oh my God. To see if he is technically redrafted. Cause if we're not redrafted, then we paid the 10,000 for nothing. And we're gonna say Boss Hog ripped us off. But if he does get drafted, he's yeah. still gonna come home. Ow. So let me see, choose outcome, live. Okay, I'm glad we didn't have to cheat. And I'm glad you guys got to save your mushrooms. So no one had to save his life. Woo! Thank you for the good vibes, Miss Colt. Okay, I think it's D10. I don't even know my own rules. What are the rules for getting drafted again? Yeah, well, I guess it doesn't matter which one we roll because it's just even odds. So I'll just keep the D20 up. Odds are stay at war, evens are you get to go home. So we'll just roll a D20 because it, it's the same. So odds stay at war. Oh my gosh, he would have gotten to come home anyway. But this is so fun because now it means Boss Hog ripped us off. <laughs> That's gonna be so fun for storytelling. I don't know which direction we're gonna go with it, but he scammed us. Oh my God, I love oh my goodness, it. Oh my, God. oh my gosh, Mama Sim Streamer, thank you for those bits. Oh, Boss Hog, he knew he was on his way home and he took our money oh God, anyway. Oh, oh, this is gonna be fun. Yeah, he's gonna get his money back. I have a couple ideas of the direction I want this um, storyline to go. We'll get into it in a little bit, but William, you're coming home, buddy. Okay, we have to do the, ne the next townies real quick though. Uh, we have to roll for our main characters. So they've all been in war the same amount of time. So it's gonna be five or 10 for all of them. Cause Rusty is who, Rusty's who's really important to me. But if Rusty dies, we might give him a chance for the nurse to revive him. So let's see, it's if he rolls a five or a 10. I know if Rusty dies, he's not gonna die. Okay, hold on, we'll do two out of three. Rusty's thriving. Rusty was like, I'm not only gonna live, I am going to thrive. All right. Woohoo! Okay, Rusty lives. So that leaves, okay, Joe is, I mean, John, God, I can't get their names right. Oh, John is like deep into a chess game with Nurse Renee. All right. I could not get my camera. Okay, John. Here we go, five or a 10. <gasps> what if this is part of the storyline that our childhood best friend died in battle? That's like, we come home with a gloomy trait. That could add so much to the storyline that his childhood best friend died at war with him and he survived he's gonna have like survivor's guilt r.i.p to john i'm gonna keep it in the story i like when it, it adds so much more depth I, depth well it adds more depth too but depth for sure okay we're gonna leave that in 
And I'm not going to roll for the other side characters because at this point, war is going to be over because we're going to bring William home. So we'll just say the other guys survive. But just for storytelling purposes, we did our side households. Okay, and I've been doing this wrong the entire time. So I got some comments on YouTube that because I'm doing it through MC Command Center, that's why they keep just disappearing. But I should be able to... I'm not going to do it yet. I just want to shift click on him. But if I do kill this way, I only have the slain by vicious killer rabbit. Which might be fine, I guess. Or we could bring, because I'm a dummy and still didn't add that mod. See, now I'm remembering what all my homework was. I forgot what my homework was. We'll bring down, oh, that's not what I want. I want the, I want this. I'm going to move the horse ball just for a, a minute. We'll, we'll get that back. Can I put this anywhere? Well, I guess. Come here, Joe. We're going to try to do this right, buddy. Okay, come here, Joe. John. John. Sorry, I keep calling him Joe. Sorry to have to do this to you, buddy. Is a meteor guaranteed? You need to get your uniform on, though. Does it matter if we moon gaze or stargaze? Okay, we're looking out for enemies. John's out in the line of battle. <laughs> I can't wait till we do World War II because we have Rose built a lot for that. And I'm going to try to do some more prep work for that war to actually maybe try to, I don't know. I don't know how to make Sims seem like they're at war. You've only had it happen once, couldn't get it to happen again. But we've got all night to try. So we're, we're going to say he can see over the wall. I know that is one soldier has died every round. Probably more could have died this round. I'm keeping my eyes out for this meteor. It happened to you the one and only time you used a telescope. We're about to test out like statistics and see what happens. You'll look up quickly, Force Meteor. Please do, Rose. If not, I'm going to just enjoy this moment of Joe being at war, living out his final moments. I'm going to let Joe have this one. I mean, John, gosh, gosh, I can't stop saying Joe. You're Joe now. You're just going to, he's just officially Joe. Look, you see the, the clouds? We're going to say those clouds, those, that smoke from cannons. That smoke from cannons being blasted outside at the wait hold on let me give me a moment let me see if i can set a set a vibe for this real quick he deserves a uh <laughs> he deserves the full is this a song or here you go joe it's called cannons what about this one? Yeah, we'll do this one. All right, Joe. It's so laggy. I need to trigger a meteor. Turn it down. How long does he do this interaction? Come on, meteor. <laughs> I just don't know. Zoom out. Does it have an ending? Come on! <laughs> I 
You tried for hours and couldn't get it? Okay, hold on. Well, let's pause the music. Let's pause the music. That did not work. John's like, I'm off to bed now. No enemies tonight. I wonder if Stargaze... Oh, Sim Hours. Okay, you put a cheat in Discord. Hold up. Get your uniform on. You must die in uniform. I will take my time on this because I screwed it up all the other times. Giving me, giving you less of the Mohicans. I don't know if I said that. I don't think I said that right. Okay, cheat in Discord. <laughs> da, da, da. Thank you, Rose. Click on the ground. Okay, this is where, this is our desired location. Let's get him in his uniform first. Uh, all right, I was gonna say, now you're frozen. Uh, click on the ground, shift click or just click? Click. Oh wait, I don't know what, I don't know what that, hold on. I don't know how to follow these instructions. Click on the ground in the desired location. In RAS, debug enabler. I don't know how to pull up this menu. I shift if I shift click, it keeps just bringing up. Hold on, let me see what happens out here. What the heck? Has a smarter pie menu? Shift click on the telescope. I feel like my settings, okay, while I'm figuring this out, let me have him use it just in case it just manually triggers. Doesn't it seem like I have way less options than I had earlier? I had like. Why is it so difficult to kill Sims? I should have cheats activated, but you know, it's worth it's it's worth double checking. Same options. Come on, Meteor. Oh, isn't that lovely? That's actually quite nice. Look at the sky. What if I was just doing this and all of a sudden out of nowhere, it was just like whoosh. <laughs> it was just like massive meteor. John's enjoying the last of the night sky. Okay, I'm waiting. Oh, look at the flags. Look, it's a Civil War scene. The flags in the sky. I know, I don't know what's going on because that's not even like a cheat thing. This is like an actual like in-game thing. See, we tried to do MCC Meteor Death last time and the sim just disappeared. Goodbye, everybody. Good night, Miss Colt. We'll just be here trying to kill <laughs> John. Oh. Okay, here, stop. I'll try it, I think. Okay, I'm just forewarning you guys. It, um, with this cheat bar open, Control Shift C cheat bar, they do get a scared moodlet for a few sim minutes and then copy that command. I don't know how to copy it, Rose, because you just gave me like a path, like click this, 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 and this. So that would, Unless you posted a new one. Because I'm pretty sure if I do MC Command Center, he's just going to disappear. Okay, I'm refreshing Discord. I have 
testing cheats on? I just confirmed. I don't know. I don't know. It's hard for me to follow instructions when I wish you guys could just talk right back to me. It's weird though because like even MC Command Center is not showing up now. Honestly, my game is really buggy today. I'm not going to lie. MC Command Center. If he just disappears, though. Okay, hold on. I got to save from this point because I'm going to be really sad. I'm going to need a I'm going to need to do. Um, some testing of this off. Off cam to really get this sorted because this has been a real doozy. Okay, it says if the sim is not on the current lot, they will be turned immediately into a ghost rather than dying with the reaper. Oh, it had been giving us a warning the entire time. Okay, I'll try it and if it doesn't work, I'll just... I think it's gonna work. I think it's gonna work. Are we ready? Hold on, let me give you your... You get your music, Joe. Is it coming? Oh my god! Ah! Look, the ghost is even like, wow, that was really bad. Look, William's dressed, ready to go home! R.I.P. John! R.I.P. I'm sorry, William. I'm sorry. <laughs> Grim with the iPad. Oh. Okay. Um, that was intense. The stray cannon came over the wall. Oh my gosh, as you screen recorded it. Oh my gosh. Wait, will it not let you post it in Discord? No, Joe. John, John, sorry. John. Hold on. I think William is going to return his body back to... I'm so sad. We're gonna take the tombstone and he's gonna return the tombstone to Joe, to Joe, to actual Joe. Oh, you can't do videos. I'll have to check the settings. I'll check settings after stream. Um, look, I love that William was already changed into his outfit. He was like, I'm heading home. He's like, we were supposed to catch the train together. No. Okay, well, you're gonna... We're gonna, da, 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 da. okay, hold on. Go into create a sim so I don't forget. I think we're gonna give him the, the gloomy trait. I don't think he's gonna keep it forever. Huh? He might not keep it. Let's take hot headed off. Where the heck did music lover just come? Where are the, oh, did you have, were those like your bonus traits? Okay, whatever. Um. Oh yeah, 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 yeah. Let's add Lieutenant William Westbrook and give him gloomy for a little while because I mean, okay, hold on. Let me just close without saving because I messed up his traits. I messed up his traits. I need to just add gloomy on top because I didn't realize it did that. Like when they take, oh, is, there a, is that a glitch? Is that what's happening? Okay. That's good to know. So many glitches. Goodness gracious. You'll clip it after stream if you can't get it to work. No. Oh, yeah, Rose, you'll clip it. Um, oh, my gosh. I'm glad that worked out, but that was a... Uh, I actually have never seen that death in the game, so I wasn't sure what to expect. 
So instead of giving it to him that way, I'm going to go this direction. Cheat him to have Lumi. Where is it? Why is it not? Should we make him a gambling addict? <laughs> Why is gloomy? We already have the gloomy trait. No. Am I blind? Do we have something that conflicts with it? Oh, MCC add trait. I've never done that. Where do I find that? Oh, look, I think I could do rename right here. Lieutenant William Westbrook. Okay, he's got his name. And then maybe Goofball. Oh, yeah, Goofball might conflict with it. So if I take Goofball off. I feel like it should still show up in the list, though. Oh, well, let me give him Goofball back. Um... MC cast, okay. MC cast, manage traits. Manage traits, add trait. Lumi, you guys are like MCC, like pros. No matches found. My game is currently missing the gloomy trait, apparently. We'll have to give that to him later. All right, right now you're sad. He should come home from with money from the military. I feel like we had looked up that they were getting paid. Look, I just got this pop up. Trait found zero. I don't know what's, why am I missing the gloomy trait? That's so weird. The weirdest thing. Just click on add. I'm gonna double check, but it appears that my game is truly bugged. Just click add. I really just, okay, this is like a nightmare to search through. Wait, what was this? I feel like we should give him a military trait because he was in the military. What does that trait do? Or does that mean, is that like maxing the aspiration or something? Okay, military. Did that one add? And then... Oh, this is meticulous. I think those are... Oh, well, I'll work on this after stream. This is stressing me out. You like how I update the traits based on life of life events, not something you ever thought to do. I usually change them as their personalities change or different things happen. Why do we have Storm Chaser? Love stormy weather thrives in terrifying conditions. Maybe that's why he did well at war. It didn't add military though. I don't know. I think I'm having a glitch with, with traits. So I'll have to figure that out. Okay, because Gloomy was definitely missing and I got an exception error on it, so. Anyways, while we're here, let me very quickly copy um, the outfits for the nurse. Copy. Now that I know how to do this, paste. Now's a good time to go get you a break. We're doing we're doing a uh, safe file maintenance real quick. Paste. I wish you could just do like paste to all. Maybe one day, maybe one day. This is, you know, this is better than what it could be. So I'm just literally putting it on everything for right now. Paste. One more. And paste. There we go. Yeah, I think I lost her glasses on some of them, but 
I'll work on that. Trying to swap it. I wasn't going to swap it. I was just going to add it. So I don't know. If, I don't know. I will figure it out later. I, it stressed me out. I just want to move on to the next thing. Um, so let's switch back over because we're going to have to do... Um, it's like 2 a.m. right now. So I want to bring him home. Oh, we missed Betty's birthday. Oh, God, we got to get back home. That took too long. I forgot about my child. Where do we live? Not my baby girl. Betty, mom was supposed to make you a cake. Yeah, I can copy the accessories. I just didn't want to make everyone sit too long through all of that. So I'll update. I'll update her accessories later, but at least she's got her nursing nurse outfit on. Okay. We're all still here because this is where I left us off. And I have to get the sugar. So we're going to make a little midnight. Uh, just pretend like it's not midnight. We're just going to pretend like it's not midnight. Um... Oh, I had a moment. I was having a moment. I was like, who is Winston Westbrook? That's, I totally forgot our mom had a baby. I was like, excuse me, did we leave the save file and come back to an extra child? Oh, okay, that's William's kid brother that I forgot about. Whew, I just about had a heart attack, I'm not gonna lie. I was like staring the screen down real hard. I feel like I'm missing a child, but. As we're celebrating Betty's birthday, William walks through the door. Yeah, maybe he he got like a late night train. Oh my God, yes. We're pulling an all nighter gang. We need. Let's go. We have access to the store at all hours since Mrs. Hooper lives with us. Okay, let's just get a bunch of flour. We'll have them restock this later. Just buy all of it. Buy the whole store and get some sugar. I totally forgot we could make flour with the yield cookbook mod. Whoopsies. It's okay. We don't have time to make flour. Mrs. Hooper said just go in and grab anything you need. Just make sure you pay for it. <laughs> She's like, you can go in anytime you want, but it's still not for free. Are we just frozen again? Is that the theme of today's game? Is exception hour, exception. Sorry, get that one. We're buying them out. Perfect. We can buy it all in Boss Hog. We'll take the. Pregnant Sims everywhere, I swear to God. Why is Gloria Davis here? Okay, let's get home. We're we're crunched on time with these guys. Everyone. Okay, I'm going to travel with William too, just so I can control him off the lot. We've got we to gotta keep him away for, for a little bit. Oh, but I forgot we don't have whiskey. We, we need whiskey though. Okay, I'll take care of that. I'll take care of whiskey. Okay, hold on. William's not here. William is not here. Control. Nobody look. William, you are way far away, buddy. Get, get away. Okay, William's not here. <laughs> there we go. Did I ever turn the pregnancy chance back down? I'm actually having major issues with that mod as well, where if I try to go into settings, they won't come up. It's like, it's like a whole thing. Um, for the sake of the story right now, we are just going to uh, fulfill our household needs. <laughs> um, fill household. We cannot be bothered at the moment. At least he has the sad buff for his friend, for sure. Okay. Bake, cook a honey cake. Whew. 
It is chaos today. Let's see. Honey. Cake. Are you kidding me? We don't have eggs. We didn't have eggs last time we tried to make a cake. We need our chickens to grow up. Probably is faster to just turn off simple living. Jesus. Thank you for that hydrate. We're just going to grab one just like last time. I don't understand because like we have all those special eggs in the fridge, but do they not count? It has to be like it literally has to be a regular egg. Is that the deal? Because that's really annoying. Um, Hold on. Filter by... Cottage living. Here we go. Egg. We are struggling. They may not be aging up. May need to sell the chicks and hand buy some new ones. Here we go. Honey cake. Um, they've, they've been functioning pretty well. I don't think they've been hatched that long, but we may just go ahead and... I am getting so frustrated by the amount of glitching today. This is why I wanted to restart the last Decades Challenge, because it gets to a point with so many mods and custom content for this type of save file after major game updates, it's like... You can't even play the game because you're getting so many errors. All right, everyone, just come in and do your thing. I've got to go. Hold on. I've got to. Nope, nope, nope. No, you're not going to the bed. You are going to. I need to get that horse here somehow. I don't think I can do it. I think I screwed it up. Let's see. Oh my god, is James going to be playing out in the yard when dad gets here? Here, we'll let him walk over and whenever he gets here, he gets here. One of the kids put the soap away. Let's see. Mrs. Hooper's out knitting. I want the kids to be... We'll, we'll re-add him back to the family. I will. Oh, soup. I read soap. I was like, what do you mean they put the soap away? Here, let's put... Oh my god, it won't let me select it. Lucy, help mom and... Put this away. Benny, it's your birthday! And I've got a big birthday gift for you. See, why can she not put that in the fridge? What happened to my dog bowl? Did I accidentally delete the dog bowl? Is William coming? Okay, he's right there. Hold on, we've got to time it. He's almost here. Put the cake. I wish it wasn't the middle of the night, but you know. Let's just go ahead and form a group with the whole family real quick so I can. I guess I should do William too. Boma. Betty, it's your birthday. Look who's here. Hold on. Oh my God, James is going to be the first one. I think we're going to go up. Can we not do best hug ever? Because that would be... Oh, I don't want him to be sad because that might be why we can't do it. Wait, does he need to be inside? I kind of liked that James could... He could come up and like hug James real quick.
Okay, hold on. Let me read what you guys are saying. Come on, kids. Daddy's home. When she blows out the candle, she could be wishing for her family to be happy again. And Will walks in. Okay, yeah. So let me cue. Let's cue up what we want to happen. Where did Betty go? She done run off. I'm sorry. That child is quick. So let's. Help blow out the candles. Okay, we're. I've changed my mind. James is gonna be inside. Okay. William. I need to add him to the family so he can just walk in. And then he is gonna <gasps> walk in. Okay, we ready? Are we ready? Okay, James here. Quiet, get your booty in here. Okay, hurry up. No! Not yet, not yet! Hold on, that's not the moment, that's not the moment. Look away, everyone look away. We had to go get the baby. Okay. Now, <laughs> now we're ready, now we're ready. Okay. Let's get these god awful things off of their head, okay. Here's the moment. What is happening with my walls? Look who's home! Yay, Madison! Okay, traits. I don't want to do traits right now. Okay, you were really silly. You're going to be a goofball. We can come back to these. <laughs> I need my moment. Wait, can you even have goofball? How old are you? You are going to be, yeah, goofball. Um, She was quite self-assured because you were very independent. I think you're going to be feisty, Betty. You're going to be... Uh, Betty walked over to him. I love that. Okay, I'm just gonna say loves outdoors. I do, I give that to everybody. You need to have like a not a perfect one. You're not mean because that's difficult. You're not squeamish. What if we, mm, I was gonna say, what if we gave her erratic and said maybe she was special needs? Cause she's like younger. I don't know, I like using that trait to, cause like I want there to be, I don't know. I'll, I need to add custom traits. So for right now, adventurous. I want her to be like a wild explorer. She's gonna have motor skill. Ooh, or art lover. Maybe art lover instead of adventurous because we don't have any artists in the family yet. Art lover. And then we'll change this to creativity. Yeah, she's gonna be like kind of eccentric. I don't know. That's the vibe I see for her. Oh, how I have missed you! Oh, what an interest. Oh, materialistic. I can maybe see that too. Welcome home, darling. Welcome home. Oh my gosh, I'm so happy. I wasn't expecting you, although I was, because I don't think she's going to tell him initially that she paid the money. But then eventually she's going to tell him that she paid the money. But then William's going to be like, I have no idea what you were talking about. Like, I was just discharged, like... I don't know, after John died, like they let me go. I don't know, whatever. We'll figure out the story. But William's going to know that he was just released. And she's going to be like, but I paid money to Boss Hog to get you out. And they're going to realize that they got scammed. Um, one of the kids need to do best hug ever if one of them can do it. Or does he have to do the interaction to them? Where are all the kids? Okay, here's Lucy. Best. Is it be, are our relationships really low or something? No, Lucy should have a high enough. Okay, Lucy, come here. Uh -huh. 
Does it only come up in certain moods? Everyone come say hi to dad. He's home. <laughs> he's so sad though. They're like, oh, he's like excited, but he's sad. Betty should get with Darla's son. We got to give her a makeover. She's looking like madness over there. Hey, kiddo. I heard you've been, uh, mom's been writing me letters and she said you've been doing quite well. Oh my God. Their mannerisms were exactly the same and that was freaking cute. Mom says you've been helping, being a big help and doing, doing really good. I'm glad to hear it. I really missed you, kiddo. You've really grown up since, uh, since I last seen ya. He's about to be a teen. I think Wyatt has not. Uh, Wyatt's just, uh, making art. <gasps> actually, Wyatt, you keep working on that, actually. Because I have an idea for you. The reason why, as soon as he knew Dad was here, he, he came back here and he, he's drawing up Dad. He's going to give that to dad when he's done. Okay. Why am I going straight for the cake? He's like, it's been a long journey. I'm really hungry. Okay, Wyatt, hurry up and finish this. Lucy's like, Wyatt, hurry up. Hurry up. You need to go say hi to dad. And he's like, wait, I'm finishing this up. I just want to give this to him. Hurry up, finish your art. I know, no more Todd's. We need another baby. Hurry up, Wyatt. This is way too long of an interaction, buddy. It's it's fantastic. Dad will love it. Okay. Da 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 da. Friendly. Here we go. No, 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 no. Don't go to bed yet. Poor guy, he's just like, I had the longest journey. You really like the idea from last episode with James getting with his, with his best friend's sister from the native camp? For sure. Dad, I'm so excited to have you home. I made this just for you. Thanks, kiddo. All right, Dad's super tired. I'm gonna, you know, it's been a really lo rough, long ride. So I'm gonna go get some bed. Get some bed. I'm gonna go get some bed. William has a supportive relationship. I love this. I'm curious to explore what their relationship is because how old was Wyatt? Hold on, spreadsheet. Oh, I don't have my spreadsheet. Oh yeah, I do. How old was Wyatt when he left for war? Wyatt was born in... Wyatt was born in 1857, so 58, 59. Wyatt was four years old. Wyatt was four. Which was a little bit older than I remembered, but he had just become a toddler. So he has like a little bit of memory of him, like very faint, like toddler memory, you know? Like you have memories like from like, I don't know, my first memories are around when I was three, but they're not very like well fleshed out, you know? Okay, William's gonna go get some. Here, go cry it out and then go to sleep. <laughs> Woo! Uh, thank you, Seema! If I said that correctly. Oh, my foot fell asleep. Now, <laughs> oh my god, it's so uncomfortable. I've been sitting on my foot and I've been so into like William coming home. I'm like, it feels dead. James lost his tooth. Okay, everyone stayed up. We just all pulled an all nighter. I love the cowboy hats. They're super cute. Okay, I think what we're gonna do is like a really short break just because my brain needs a reset after all of that. Um, I know we didn't take a break that long ago, but it's gonna be a quick one. I just need to like step away and reset my brain and then we'll come back and we'll gather ourselves and decide how we're gonna take it. Now that William's home, I gotta kind of rethink. I think probably Mrs. Hooper will go home now and uh, um, 
Yes, Advent. <laughs> Thank you, Rose. Thank you. I will actually, let me check when it's scheduled because they're auto scheduled to run like, I can't remember. I try to do them as little as like the, the least amount that I can. Okay, good. It's perfect. It says it's supposed to start in five minutes, so I will run it now. So let's just do a quick, quick, quick break. And then we'll get this family reset. Because like I said, I think we'll move this Hooper out. She'll still come over and hang out with us, but we're going to get our life back together now, post-war. And then look at what's on the, uh, on the agenda coming up. And I want to talk a little bit about what my goal, what my ultimate goal would be for the next generation. So, okay. BRB. Betty needs a makeover. <laughs> when I walked away, I was like, wait, we have to do a makeover first, which will probably take us, well, it depends. Wyatt's took us a while. Wyatt's took us a while. Now they now they need a post-war baby. Maybe we'll lower the percentage chances like quite a lot and then have them try since she had such a hard birth the last time. Oh, goodness. Okay, that outfit is not working for me oh yeah she has that hair I didn't notice that when she aged up I was kind of wanting to give her like curly hair which we could say like for her formal maybe she could have something like that I want to give her like really wild curls like Madison I kind of have a vision of her like she's like creative chaos in the best way I think it's got to be our Betty so when we get to World War One, you've already pre-built for me. I'm excited for the trenches. I'm excited and I want to like, I'm gonna plan the war a lot better. This war just got here so quickly in the series that I didn't really have time to, to think through all exactly how I wanted to do the gameplay. And I've never done um, a war where like you move the Sims off the lot. So this was like my first go at it. So I wanna make the war a little bit more interactive potentially. I have to figure out exactly how I would do that. But for World War One, I, I definitely want to do a little bit more stuff with it. Okay, let me just put that dress for right now. Okay, I want wild curly hair. Uh, 
Isn't there one? Maybe not that much. That's that's Lucy's hair. Oh, but that actually would be perfect, though. But that's what Lucy has. Oh, maybe she has a slightly shorter cut. Maybe it's, I don't know. I don't know. I've got to think about it. It is really cute on her. Maybe her hair gets all tangled so she keeps it a little bit short because I want it to be different. Um, I'm not like 100% tied to the historical accuracy of like the length of hair because I'm like limited. I more want it to have a certain vibe if that makes sense, I guess. Um... Because I think that's the, the energy of the vibe that I wanted. If it was slightly longer, because I don't like that in game one. It's just like almost too chaotic. The longer one. Cottage living. I really like the one she has on right now. I'm not going to lie. Um, oh, not custom content. I meant to say cottage living. Whoops. Such a habit to filter by custom content. Cottage living yeah that's gonna this one is like too tame but it is kind of cute but then i'm stuck with that i don't know that doesn't feel like the vibe of her that i'm picturing in my head she looks like victorian little orphan annie like that okay 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 this one? Okay, I'll do this one. It's a little more tame than I was picturing for her, but the braid is cute. And then maybe... I like the way it frames the face. I do like that. And then... Yeah, with her little... Yeah, okay. I can get on board with this. Oh my god, yes, 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 yes. That one. This one, I really kind of like the red striped one, kinda, I'm not going to lie. Uh, I think the apron is more like little farm girl. Oh my gosh, she's such a cutie. I want her to have some freckles. Freckles and her job will be to look after the chickens. Oh gosh, someone needs to look after the chickens because I have not. And then doesn't this have the little, yes, the little leggings? Yeah, we need to get, we'll just purchase some chickens. Um, I forgot, what is Lucy's formal? Oh wait, they're in the same dress. I can't do that, hold on, I, got, I accidentally, oh, Lu Lucy does not have all of her outfits yet, apparently. Okay, Lucy, I've gotta do some homework on you. It's because I hate doing, I hate doing Cass on cam. It's like, Cass is like my me time. I like to do Cass on my own. Okay, Lucy, Lucy, I've got to give your sister a different dress because I <laughs> I have favorites. Betty, what is your, maybe you look better in green because green goes really good with red hair. I put the bloomers on Betty. She's got them on. I put them under her. 
under her dress. Oh my god, what about, now she's got the red bow though, but I, I can live with that. We want to do mixed patterns with stripes or the, I think I like the stripe mixed pattern. The red bow is a compliment to the outfit, yeah, we'll do that. I think I like this vibe for her. She's very earthy. Okay. That will work. Sleep. No bunny slippers, unfortunately. I just like the white nightgowns. I think the white gowns are the white nightgowns are just so cute. Should we put her hair? like down for sleep like that. She puts her hair down. I did give her freckles like Lucy. I just think the freckles are so cute. Let's give you I think hot weather doesn't have custom content. I think it's gonna be a while before it gets super, super hot. Hmm. I don't think those leggings show under the stress. No, they don't. Okay, our little farm girl. I love her, I love her. Okay, I did the outfits that we need for right now because I don't want to spend the rest of the stream and cast. I did not give her eyelashes, you guys. Oh, I did on this outfit. I just did it on the other outfits. I was about to say, I know I'm off of my A game when I don't give eyelashes to everything. I think tomorrow's stream, we should take them all on a camping trip. William is going to take them all on a camping trip. They're all kids now. And we could prep for a camping trip. I kind of want to go to Granite Falls or we go to the canyons. Actually, no, 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 no. I changed my mind. We're going to go to the canyons and we're going to camp. Um, and fingernails. I don't even know if I have fingernails for kids. I don't, you guys do, you do a lot more detail than I do. I do not do that much detail on like kids and stuff. I'll just do those. I'll just put them on everything. So I don't want them to look like they're painted. Okay. Okay. And then I've got to do the rest of their outfits. So we have to go to the canyon. We'll do like the ghost horse storyline thing or not storyline, but like gameplay thing that I don't know anything about. So that'll be fun to explore. So that's what we'll do tomorrow. And then, okay, I know I still have more outfits to do for Lucy and Betty, probably all the kids, I think Wyatt, we did all of his outfits. I was watching the replay back the other day and I think Wyatt's cast was like over half an hour and I was like, okay, I'm, <laughs> I was having so much fun with his personality, but for the most part, I don't love to do casts on stream. Okay, where is she? Of course, in the one outfit that I uh, didn't, didn't do. There she is! 
Oh my gosh, what a cutie. Now with the bonnet, I actually quite like that hair. So let's go ahead, purchase. Let's just get, not rooster, hen. We need a couple hens. We'll just get one of every option. Okay, that is gonna be your chore. We need to move Mrs. Hooper out, I think. Um, I'm not gonna copy paste because I wanna give different outfits. Because I have to do their formal, their swim, and their party. And I'm gonna give them slightly different outfits. Um, and we need to pay the bills. Okay. Madison's gonna take care of that. We need to open up the shop. Um, we don't have any birthdays for a while. I think we're like a week away till Jane's turning into a teen. So we're doing good. So now we can focus on, they're all kid age. We can focus on friendships, prioritizing from the oldest to the youngest, basically. Like James's story needs to develop, Lucy's and so on and so forth. Um, working on their skills, getting this store open. Maybe we go ahead and open the store while we're waiting. So I made this to where I can just swap these out and just start adding more stuff to it. Okay. Getting the kids to not hate James. We have to choose who will be the heir. I haven't decided yet. Um, some of you guys had asked about like voting on it. Um, I don't have a strong feel yet for like whose storyline I want to play because like the kids' personalities are just getting um, fleshed out. So I don't even have like a favorite at the moment. I think vibe wise, I, oh yeah, Betty does need a bed. I think these are already set for sale up until, I think these, oh, well, nope, even these are set for sale. So maybe down here, set for sale. Um, oop, 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 oop. So everything, yeah, everything's for sale there. Make sure these are set for sale because these are, that one's 5,000 simoleons, 9,300 simoleons. Okay, that is ri ridiculous, 4,800 simoleons. Well, you know, we make really good wine. What can I say? And then lock for, if we're gonna open the store, we gotta lock the doors. Oh, we have too many gates. Lock for everyone. And then there's one over here now. We have gates everywhere. I don't want random people in our house. Oh, yeah. Because Betty will get a bed before nighttime. William's going to go build it for her. Okay, open the store. William's still sleeping. He's getting his rest. The garden will be really helpful, so let's harvest that. We could also sell some of that stuff if we need it. We've got to rebuild ourselves after Boss Hog ripped us off. Boy, is Madison going to be angry when she finds out that he ripped us off. I feel like she needs a gardening dress because this dress is just, like, way too nice to be out gardening. But, okay, now that I bought chickens, now our hen chick aged up. Oh, well never have too many too many oh no i need to go in when we move mrs hooper out we'll transfer wh uh, whiskey back in to our household so i need to transfer her out okay good we're selling some jam getting our garden harvested lucy you guys how did the horse get out here you guys work on logic oh wait now we need four chairs because now betty's old enough Betty, why don't you come clean the coop? 
feed and clean. And we still need to buy another cow, too. Boss Hog, how dare you show your face? How dare you? Oh, he just was like, I'm out. Didn't even come to say, say hi. Oh my God, yeah, I was gonna roll for the horse. Honestly, he's an elder. We should just let him live out his, I don't think he has very long left to be quite honest. At least, yeah, running the farm will be a lot, a lot harder. I know, right, Rose? Not even a hello. Can any of the kids, do any of the kids have high enough skill that they can weed? Yes. James, you come do this. And then Betty, what are you doing? Okay, throwing trash away. Okay, and then come join. Work on your mental. James. Oh, yeah, we're keeping the... Wait, are we keeping the back house? Yeah, because we're going to either use it for family members to come visit or we might get a live-in helper once we can afford that. Okay, now the rooster chick is fully grown. All of our chicks are aging up now. Play cards with Wyatt and Betty. And then, okay, we did sell a bottle of, no, we didn't sell a bottle of wine. Madison, you just enjoy your moment for a second. Um, uh, why don't you, hmm, Betty can ask the chickens to preen themselves. That's just so much micromanaging. Okay, come on, Betty. See, it doesn't have the option. It only has it sometimes. Discuss printing methods. Okay, she could do it with that one. I feel like they have to be dirty, but then that other one didn't have it. Madison is now content. Doesn't she look like she's like finally able to relax after like years? She's like, oh my God, everything is okay now. I love this for her. I love it. Is William up yet? I've missed him. Okay, pause. 11 o'clock. How much time? Oh, good. We still got about 15 minutes. We still got some times. <gasps> yeah, what if we... I know William is back now. Oh, but if I leave the lot, then we... The problem is if I leave the lot, then we can't... Um keep the store open and we really need to recoup some money yet so maybe we save Dakota's sister till till tomorrow I was I did want to get that today but um I'm gonna take the goals down because those aren't relevant anymore those were for the day before I was thinking we could have Dakota visit here but then his sister's not gonna come I feel like we just need a day to recoup with William being back, get some money, regenerate it, and then plan for the camping trip for tomorrow since we only have about 15 minutes left. Wonder what William's life would have been like if Shania had married him instead of rejecting him. And she brings something to give to the family. I was like wondering if they come on the camping trip with us or if that will just be, that'll probably just be too much. I think the camping trip should be for the family. Um, are you two about to get along? Oh, no, you are not going to tease about crush. No, 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 Betty. That is asking for is everything watered. Yeah, it looks fine. Uh, okay, pause. I feel like I'm reaching my, like, I had a long day. I had to wake up really early for work today um, to set up like a Cyber Monday sale thing. And I had to work yesterday. So I almost feel like I'm getting tired. I kind of feel like we might just wrap a few minutes early instead of me trying to push it and feel like my brain is ready to stop for the day. Um, Cause I've been going, yeah, I started my work day over 12 hours ago <laughs> and I went straight from work to stream. So I'm gonna be honest and just say, I feel kind of mentally tired. Um, so I think we'll pick up tomorrow. I want to do family. Yeah, family only for camping, like you said, Rose. And work on James's relationship with Dakota and his sister. 
see how that goes. And then before we rest, uh, before we rest, before we wrap, thank you, uh, Kiara, for I deserve the rest. Um, I have been watching The Gilded Age, you guys. I just started. I've seen like three episodes. But um, I love, I've been learning about the time period from right now we're in 18, what are we in? 1864, right? I, we haven't made it to a new year yet. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We're still in, what day is it? Tuesday. Okay, so yeah, we're third day of 1864. The Civil War ends in 1865. And then after the Civil War ends, the country kind of goes through like a period of like extreme like financial abundance. And like they start expanding all of the railroads and people start getting really rich who like weren't rich. Um, and I was thinking one of the storylines, we can we have to think how to weave this in. Now that Boss Hog ripped us off, maybe Boss Hog ends up feeling really bad about it. And he offers William a job working for a railroad company. And we can see if we can get William to work up through the business career and get really like, my goal would be like the next generation, like maybe James or something. Like how much money can we realistically make? And like, can we be like, part of the new millionaires. Cause Rose also has some ideas about um, Darla's shop and how that can expand into like a department store. And we can use um, Magnolia Promenade to like represent that. Like, so we could build the, the four little lots in Magnolia Promenade to look like the buildings on Gilded Age. And it'd be kind of like, not New York, like I guess we could say New York, but like more developed and more city-like. And then I don't know. I don't know if we'll be like rich enough to live that sort of lifestyle or one of our daughters marries into a rail like a railroad tycoon type person. Um, like Darla's becomes like the new Macy's. Exactly. Um, have James's mom visit. It's his mom after all. I feel like I want to send James off to visit, like send James off to visit his mom soon. So like, I think he'll leave us for a couple of days to go back home with mom. I don't feel like it would make sense for Stella to stay here with us. I don't know. Or maybe, I don't know. We can, we can talk through that, what that would look like. Um, but I really want to make a push for like, how rich can we get? Because Boss Hog gave us a chance. And that's all some people needed during that time period was like a like a chance. Oh, yeah. And William has to visit and give the urn. So we'll probably do a trip back home. William's got to meet his kid's sister. So we have a lot of stuff that's not all going to happen tomorrow. For sure. Not going to all happen tomorrow. But over the next couple of streams, I think we have lots of big goals. Um, can we play as Willie's parents and then Stella's fam? Um, yeah, I feel like we're in a good time period to maybe play a couple days in another household because we don't have birthdays for a while. Okay, we're not going to do talk like a pirate day. That's not going to happen. So the next birthday isn't until James on Sunday. So maybe we do... I'm going to put on the calendar right now just so I don't forget what we've got planned. Um, let's do... Camping trip tomorrow. I just use this one. Well, that's what I use for the year. Let's, <laughs> it doesn't really matter, but I'm so picky. Let's just do this. Camping trip will be tomorrow. Um, I'm not going to put any like stuff that we're specifically going to do because I don't want to have to, I just want to do whatever I want in the moment. Um, so we'll do camping trip. Then it's going to be 1865 and maybe we go the weekend with the whole family to Brindleton Bay and James, we finish up with James turning into a teen back in Brindleton Bay. Um, maybe is what we'll do. Um, I have aging on on his sibling, so he's still a toddler because I have the lifespan so long for infants and toddlers, but I have to check to see when his brother is becoming a child. And James's first crush, yeah, well, that'll be, um, yeah, so camping, Thursday will be baby time with friends. 
We still have all of Tuesday in the game too. So tomorrow we're going to pick up right where we left off. So maybe the first thing we do when we start tomorrow is have James go, um, maybe he goes out like fishing with Dakota and then his sister comes along. So we get a little time with him. We'll probably start to focus on James a lot just during the next couple of streams because he's getting to be the oldest and just kind of have the other kids sort of building skills in the background. Lucy needs some friends. Maybe James runs in Dakota while they're camping, or that could happen too. That might just happen because it's in the same world. But we can do that. And then, yeah, I think a trip to Brindleton Bay, either just Saturday and Sunday or Friday, Saturday and Sunday, something like that. And we can play in the different households. I don't know. We'll figure it out. Because it's hard to manage, like, even if you just play one day in another household, that's like three months of the year, the way time passes. So it gets kind of tricky the way I used to play was just like a decade per generation, but the game drug on so long, but it gave you a lot more time to like switch households and play side households out. Whereas I don't have that as much in this one. Cause then I feel like I miss out on like a whole year of their life. Um, but we will figure it out. So that's what we'll do. We've got like a general plan, not like super specific. Um, but I think that's where we're going to wrap it. I'm so excited that, um, William came home. Madison is fine. Okay. I hate how the camera jumps, but I want the walls and the roof. Up. Um, Madison is finally able to relax and I'm excited. I can't wait for the for rent pack too. So we're going to be switching. So we may play decades through all to the end of the week, especially because we have so many things that we want to get through. But at some point, either towards the end of this week or for sure starting next week, we're going to switch content just for a little bit to the for rent pack. So I have a different save file that I've been working on just for like my own gameplay. And I want to get some stuff set up to like test out the new pack when it comes out. Plus, I'm probably going to need to pause this for just a little while to make sure all the mods and stuff get updated. So we'll probably switch to just like, not like a whole new series or anything, but just sort of like short term to check out the um, new pack and all of that good stuff. So I'll probably update in Discord. If not, I'll just like update you guys at the beginning and end of stream. And yeah, like a little mini series, like just like to test out the, the stuff. So I've been working on... Um, I was previously working on a save file that like looked like um, inspired by Detroit, but my like the whole files are corrupted on that, so I I kind of started over, and I'm making Willow Creek feel like really realistic. And so I just finished like a gas station convenience store. I built a little fourplex that could be used for the for rent pack, and then I I have some other lots I want to fill in and some interesting characters I would like to create to be the the people who live in the fourplex that will have very conflicting personalities. So that's what we'll work on. But anyways, I've talked for 10 minutes. So now we're officially at time. But that's it for me, you guys. It was so good to be back hanging out with you guys. And hopefully I will see you all uh -oh, tomorrow. Good night, everyone. Goodbye, everybody. Goodbye, everybody.